I've got something to show you. So it's 12 minutes past six in the morning. How incredible is that? Not sure if the sun's risen yet, it might just be behind the mist. Of all the winds you're going to do about how expensive it is to run around in a van, all the thousands of pounds I spend on maintenance and things going wrong, and the temperamental solar and recharging things, and the diesel heater breaking down at 2 a.m. in the morning, and the frost on the inside of the windows. So this is why I do it, so I can stand in places like this, there's no one else about. You can stand like this, in your pyjamas. And my crocs of course. Why would you want to spend hundreds of pounds in a hotel room sleeping in a bed that thousands of people have slept in and left a pubic hair in and you can just wake up here There's my little friend. Hello. I'm coming. Wild ponies everywhere here. Come over here. So today we're going on a little adventure. We're just going to have some breakfast and a, a coffee. We're going to walk up here and I think we're walking up here. I think it's there. Corned the Llewellyn. 
I think is how you pronounce it. So yeah, here we are. Sun, oh look at that. Sun is just coming up. That is just amazing. If you never do this, you don't get what I'm talking about. You don't get that feeling. Just absolutely incredible. Time for breakfast. So we're off to see the wizard along the yellow grass road. And um, this is where we're heading um, up onto Corn Ned Llewellyn. And I've been up there before, I went up from the Ogwen side, um, but I got to out there and I got stuck I didn't know the I didn't know I couldn't find the route it was just like a, a, a bit of a scramble and I couldn't find the path so um, and I got the dogs and it was a bit of a scramble so I had to abandon it so I've never actually been up to the summit and it's a glorious day absolutely glorious day um, now I've come out the wind the winds a bit biting it's only nine degrees um, to yesterday it said it was 15 yesterday but obviously up on the mountain it's uh, so I'm already at um, 345 meters before I even started uh, I'm just in this little uh, um, plateau I just parked right at the end and um, so and that was a, quite a climb up in the van of 345 meters and Carned Llewellyn is 1044 meters um, so yeah, I have got my uh, my shorts on again, but I've got all my winter gear in the backpack because obviously 10 degrees less, whatever it is down at the base, take off 10 degrees and that is what the uh, the temperature will be up on the summer. And there is actually, um, oh, though it might have gone, there was some snow up on the ridge still um, yesterday, but I think the sun's uh, melted that away now. Um, but what a glorious place this is. I love it, I absolutely love it here. Um, uh, the best thing is, like, <laughs> who lives? Who lives in that house? Who lives in that house? I've walked for the last two kilometers along this little, um, almost like a dirt track. And there's just some, all of a sudden you just come across a house just in the middle, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. And I don't know what is going, I don't know if you can see it, but this kind of reservoir, there's like um, some kind of, I don't know what it is, a massive stone wall. I don't know whether this whole area was flooded once before um, and it's been breached or maybe the walls corroded. Um, but yeah, it's just an impressive, almost like a fortress. Um, there's no there's no internet signal down here so I can't google it to see what what it was all about but it looked typically that this this old area was all flooded um, and maybe it was just too expensive to maintain the uh, retaining wall um, so yeah we'll um, come back when we're up which one we're going up up this one on in the back we've got to go round and then back on ourselves um, yeah, look, another another random little uh, little house. It's all boarded up. Oh, that one looks I don't know. It looks lived in. Might just be a body.
glorious sunshine. So pleased I've come. There's no one here. There is no one here. I'm in Snowdonia and there is no one here again because they've all got their little routes to do up uh, Snowden itself. But here it's just like just nothing. A few wild ponies. Not even any. Oh, there may be some sheep. There may be some sheep. I've seen some frog spawn as well in a puddle. So I hope they survive. I hope the water keeps flowing because it was just in a puddle on the track. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. I've reached the peak of Carned Llewellyn. I've had a complete change of clothes. Um, I've gone from t-shirts and shorts to thermals and woolly hats. I think it's just the wind, uh, but it is definitely cold. Still, uh, I'm in like a um, shelter. And, uh, there's a big pile of snow. So, uh, got an amazing view, although the wind So it's not what I thought it would be, to be honest. I mean, this this is the uh, peak. It's not the really distinctive. Um, it's just a small shelter here. I've just had a quick bite to eat. They're just sheltering from the cold wind. So some it's not too, too dissimilar from Ben Nevis, very lunar, very quite rocky, uh, a bit of a scramble over the top, wasn't too bad, it's manageable. Yeah, this is uh, Cornhead Llewellyn, second attempt to actually made it, say the first time, um, I kind of lost the path and I've just been down to a ridge. Um, from above it looked so easy. So we're going to head on back um, down a slightly different route of the circular, so it's not so repetitive. Um, yeah, great shot. Some a little pan around over here. So, um, uh, you've got you can't.
Church down there and uh, Manaya Street. So, I don't know if you can see that the outline of Anglesey and the Manaya Streets. So, we're at the end of today's little adventure. Um, I don't know what this horse is doing. It's been here all the time I've been here. It's just on the road. It's only really young. So anyway, yeah, Carned Llewellyn. Um, Sixteen kilometres. Glorious sunshine again. It was absolutely bolt well the wind was absolutely Baltic. Um, so I'm back in t-shirt and shorts other side of that mountain full winter wear to, I, was, I forgot my gloves my hands were freezing um, but that's just part of the adventure um, so I can't decide what to do I, I'm, I, can't, I can't decide what to do I've just not decided what I'm going to do um, as epic as this place is um, I'd like to find another location uh, for tomorrow um, so I'm gonna yeah sorry I've got problems with this gimbal it's just got a mind of its own um, so yeah uh, I'm just gonna have a look to see where else um, I can go even though as I, I say this place is so epic um, that I'd just like to find a new place um, and a new height for tomorrow because uh, the weather is going to be gorgeous again um, anyway thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it um, we have it's an, been an amazing adventure um, completely uh, clears your mind if you've got any problems with your mental health and you just need to clear your hands just go and climb a mountain